Uh, Mr. Labus, uh, would you please give us your full name and DOC number? You, you're on mute, sir. We need to. We need someone to. Uh... You gotta take it. There you go. Okay. Go ahead, Mr. Labus. Give us your full name and DOC number. Glenn Labus, one one four zero six two. Thank you, sir. Let me explain our process to you. This is a parole uh, revocation hearing. Uh, first, I'm going to read your parole revocation questionnaire, and you and I are going to discuss it. Then I'm going to read the allegations of how you've allegedly violated your parole. I'm going to ask you to plead either guilty, not guilty, guilty with a statement, or not guilty with a statement. And then we'll have a full discussion about your allegations, and then you can say whatever you'd like to say to the board at the end, and then we'll vote. Do you understand our process? Yes, sir. This is the matter of uh, Mr. Glenn Lavis. Mr. Lavis, do you have your parole revocation questionnaire in front of you? Is it? Uh, it looks like it, yes. Is that your signature at the bottom, uh, dated September the 21st of 2023? Yes, sir. Okay. And when you <coughs> document, were, were, were the answers all accurate and correct? Yes, sir. Are they still accurate and correct today? Yes, sir. Are you ready to move forward with your hearing? Yes, sir. Okay. First allegation, uh, the only allegation, is that on January the 17th of 2022, you were involved in criminal activity in the commission of the offenses of aggravated sexual second-degree battery, aggravated assault with a firearm, second-degree sexual battery, resisting an officer, and possession of a firearm by a convicted felon in East Baton Rouge Parish. You were arrested by the Baton Rouge Police Department on January the 17th of 2022. According to court minutes for docket number EBR DC 22-011499, you pled guilty to disturbing the peace uh, by fistic encounter on August the 28th of 2023 and was sentenced by Judge Lewis Daniel to 90 days in the parish prison with credit for time served. The charges of aggravated battery and possession of illegal firearm by a convicted felon were dismissed. How do you plead to those allegations? I plead to the allegations of um, disturbing the peace, this altercation. I plead guilty to that. As to the other allegations that you committed all these other activities, you plead not guilty? Not guilty. They would throw out. All right. Uh, your case has been assigned to Mr. Pete Freeman. Mr. Freeman will begin our questions. Please answer any questions he might have. Okay, Mr. Lavis, uh, you're a lifer, correct? Yes, sir. So you face in life if you get revoked today. Yes, sir. Yet you say you got in a fight with a woman. I got in a fight with a woman. Yeah. We didn't have we didn't have a fight. We All had right. an argument. My ear just started bleeding. Well, her ears, her ear and her mouth been like that. That's been like that. I didn't do that. The police officer seen it and he thought that that had just occurred. She refused medical treatment to determine whether or not those scars was recently or something in the past. So I didn't have any evidence to prove okay, that. Tell me what happened between you and this lady. And we have all the reference reports. All the statements. You tell me what went on. We was together that night and we had been drinking. And we left my apartment. And after that, I can't really tell you much of whatever ha what else happened because, like I say, her and I had been drinking. Y'all using any drugs? No, we didn't use any drugs. Just you alcohol. Did Just you have alcohol? Have Sir? Did you have a gun? No, sir, I didn't have a gun. Where did the gun come from was uh, that was right where y'all were arguing? The officer said that I had a that I had a gun. He said he found a gun in the grass. I have documentations to show that my fingerprints wouldn't own a gun. Why did you take DNA? Why you refuse to be? I refused the DNA. I was drunk. I didn't know I, I had been drinking. I had been Why drinking. Did you run? All honesty. I didn't run when they came. I didn't know that the police was coming after me. I walked fast to get away from her. So you knew this lady before? Yeah, I knew her. 
I knew it from um, being around the house. Yeah, she states she had never seen you before that morning. Yeah, I, I know she said that Brittany, Brittany will say something like that. Brittany stay in physical altercation with people. What about the DWI you received? Oh, yeah, I was guilty of that. I pled guilty to that. So you've been drinking since you got out? Yes, sir. I had been drinking like when I when I'm off from work, like on the weekends. Where you worked at? City Club, right across the street from the courthouse. Uh, Okay, I have no, no further question. Yes, sir. Uh, there, there was some indication in the report that several callers called in saying they witnessed you beating her. No, I didn't beat her. You don't know nothing That's, about that? I didn't beat her. I know Brittany, and I know Brittany and Ben had those no, calls. No, no, sir. no, sir. Uh, the police department got several calls from other witnesses who witnessed you out there beating her. No, I didn't beat her. I didn't beat her. They were anonymous calls. Do you know yeah, anybody that would I, do that? Who you know people that would do that? No, I don't know anybody. I can't tell you nobody that would do that. But uh, uh, so were you standing there when uh when she told the police that you attacked her because she refused to have sex with you? Were you there when she said that? No, I wasn't there. I read it in the report. Oh, you read it in the report? I read it in the report, yeah. Speak to that. Speak to that. No, you Me. tell us. Yeah, 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 speak to that. What, what do you say to that? That we got what she said. Now, what do you say? I didn't. I never. I never. I never. Um, I never attacked her. I never had sex no, with her. No, about the sex part. The, the argument. She said the argument came about because she refused to have sex with you. What do you say to that? We got yes. what she said. What do you say? No, that's not true. That's not true. Had y'all had sex that day? No, we didn't have sex. You said that y'all had just left your apartment. My apartment, yeah. Going where? We was going to the store, um, MJ's, the store on um, Florida Boulevard. For what? For to get something to eat, something to drink, something to snack on. So to get more alcohol? No, I had enough of that. I oh, had okay. enough of that. So y'all just had the munches? We just had the munches, yeah. And, and she so was... Go ahead. She was drunk and I was drunk, and I'm being honest. So why was the police called? To your knowledge, why was the police even called? People walk to the store all the time. I guess somebody thought they saw something that happened. I mean, were y'all like playing? Like, you know, like sometimes you play with each other because y'all both drunk with y'all. I mean, I'm just trying to I'm, just trying I'm, to I'm that. saying that I was drunk and I can't remember everything that occurred. That's what I was saying. Okay. I can't remember everything. Can you, can you even remember what y'all were talking about? You knew y'all were hungry. Y'all was you, you had the money, right? You was gonna buy the stuff. The yeah, lunch. I had the money. Yeah, I was okay. gonna buy this. I had a credit card. Okay. You don't remember anything about what y'all talked about on the way? Uh, oh, we didn't do much talking. You didn't do much talking. Y'all just walking side by side. Just walking side by side. You know this that, that doesn't make you know I'm trying to get I'm trying to understand too. I realize you were under influence, but you have no idea how much had you consumed that day of alcohol. Uh, two cans of club tail and some other um a big can of um a big can of beer. Okay. So you you mix beer and what what's the club tail? I don't know what that club is. Club tail is like the alcohol. What kind of alcohol? Is it gin, bark? What, what kind of alcohol? No, it's like a. It's not like a vodka. It's lighter than a vodka. It's like 99% um, alcohol. Okay. I'm trying to be as honest as possible in all, what I can remember, ma'am. Okay, so that's right. You can, you can remember what you was drinking, but you don't remember once y'all start walking to the store or what happened. But you can I kind of probably blanked out. I, I had too much. I had, had too much. Okay, and neither one of y'all could say, well, let me send you to the store. Uh, yeah, yeah. But y'all didn't do that. Both y'all wasn't 
Both of y'all feel like you could make it to the store. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm trying to understand, sir. All right, that's all I have. And, and you say you know Miss Snow? It wasn't just somebody you met that night? I, no, it wasn't somebody I met that night. I know it from being around the house up under the bridge, the North Boulevard Bridge, where they pass out clothes and everything. I didn't met around there a few times. I how did she meet in your apartment? Huh? How did she how was it she was in your apartment that night? She came. We we met at uh we met at club, we met at um MJ's that day, and she agreed to come with me. What were you going? She coming? Why did she agree to come with you? Where were y'all going? What were y'all going to well, do? I had I had intentions on having sex with her, but we didn't. Uh, it was my intentions to really have sex with her, but we didn't. So she says it was all about sex. You say no, it wasn't, but yet it was your intention to have sex with her. Why would she say you had a gun? And I find it curious that she said you had a gun. She said you hit her with a gun and the police found a gun. I mean, that's uh, that's quite a coincidence. The courthouse dismissed it because they didn't find my fingerprints on it. I, I, I'm not interested in what the courthouse did. Yeah. We're our own body to find our own facts. All right. DAs drop charges all the time because they don't want to prosecute them or whatever. They come over to our call right to do with us. Yeah, I didn't have no gun. Okay. Okay. All right. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Anything you'd like to say to the board before we vote? I do have one other. Well, wait, wait, just a second, Miss Wise. So, did you? Uh, I'm looking at your parole certificate. You were ordered to the parole project. What happened with that? Did you complete their program? Yeah, I completed the program. When did you leave the parole project? I left it out 2001, 2000, 2020. Around 2020. I got out, I got out in 2019. I yes, completed it in 2020. And so you were living at St. Joseph's home after your parole project was done with? Ma'am? You were still living in St. Joseph's home when the parole project? Yeah, they allowed me to come back. Oh, they, they, allowed allowed me, to come. they allowed me to come back. That's where I was staying at. So you didn't have anybody that you could talk to? Did you start to believe that maybe your mm -hmm. alcohol consumption was getting out of hand? And with the parole project, you didn't go ask anybody for help? You didn't have a sponsor? When you go into AANA meetings, anything? No, I didn't ask anybody. You, you had stopped doing that. You had stopped going to AA meetings? No, I was still going to the meetings. That was a requirement to um, go to the meetings when you're um, living over there. <laughs> but I yeah. never asked anybody for to help me. And you weren't honest in the meetings either, sound like. Huh? You weren't honest in the meetings. You didn't go in there and say, hey, y'all, I'm struggling. I'm, I'm drinking. You didn't You didn't do that. Yeah, Ms. Linda knew. Ms. Linda knew I had a drinking problem. She had talked about it. Me and her in talked the, about it. In the AA meetings. Okay, that's all I have. All right. Mr. Lavis, what would you like us to know before we vote? Sir? What would you like to tell us before we vote? I would just like to have another chance, another opportunity to prove myself. I know I messed up. I'm trying to be as honest as possible with all the questions. But like I say, I don't remember everything that occurred because I was drunk. And all I wanted just be considered for another opportunity. Not a bad person, I'm not hard to get along with, but some of those allegations aren't true. Thank you very much, we appreciate it. Al Ray Uh Yes. Okay, Mr. Freeman. Okay, uh, Mr. Lavis, uh, you know, you was given a chance on a life sentence, which not only affects you, it affects everybody else that's coming up for a life sentence. It's something that's looked on very close. Um, you pled guilty to do di two different criminal charges. One was a DWI that was revoked. One involved a gun that you claim is not yours, but you pled to fistic encounter with anonymous phone call saying y'all were fighting. Um, the officer said she was bleeding from the ear. Uh, 
I, I plumb don't understand. Be honest. You face it. Life. I don't understand it. My vote is to revoke. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Freeman. Ms. Uh, Wise. Uh, Mr. Live, as I, I've looked at this every which way I can I can look at it. Uh, and what what's so upsetting to me is that you had tools available to you. You knew what they are to get the help that you need when you start struggling in the area. You had all the tools you need, but you didn't use the tools. And that's concerning for me. So my <coughs> vote is the same for the same reasons. Mr. Uh, Livis, you have two votes to revoke. My vote is likewise the same for the same reasons as my colleagues have stated. And your parole has been revoked. Good luck to you. So what would that mean? Means you're going back right. to serve your life sentence. 